Yo, we in Kana. I'm a private eye. I cannot lie. I cannot rhyme. Let's start the video. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Freestyling in <laughs> Master Detective Archives Rain Code. How have you been? Me? I'm miserable. Oh god, the the floating class is back. Oh, mystery solved. It's just it's just Shinigami chowing down. But truly, this chapter has been a blessing and a curse. On one hand, Fubuki is effing hilarious. I like all of her little bits, they they be cracking me up. But her forte time leap has saved our butts literally countless times. The last episode I had to edit out all the times I effed up the bomb sequence. It was a little hard for me, but she has been a huge asset. There's got to be a better way to say that in trying to solve the murder of Shaichi, who let's just take a moment and just say, dude, RIP, he was <laughs> the best shot of getting Amaterasu taken down a peg, starting this resistance, making the people of Kane War realize, dang, Amaterasu kind of sucks. I'm, I'm, I'm finna move. And if everyone moves out, what is Amaterasu going to do? Like that was, that was probably the easiest way to defeat them with no violence. And that's probably never gonna happen because he's effing dead. He faked his suicide and one of these four is most likely the culprit. It could also be the peacekeepers like leading a, you know, smear campaign. That's also a possibility. But if you're enjoying the series, make sure to leave a like and we're gonna dive right in to more of this I don't know this chapter, it's picking up the pace, but let's just talk also about Fubuki again. And Master Deck Dispatch, okay, although well, she's a beauty with outstanding st outstanding. I mean, I like her piercings, but ah, no, her outfit's pretty cool. Her airhead tendencies can frustrate the people she talks to. Do you guys think it's because of her forte? It makes her forget stuff because the whole time space paradox thing, it just makes her, her brain go cool, 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 like, Maybe she's not like the dumb, you know, airhead archetype at all. It's just a side effect of her amazing and useful power. Honestly, I want to give her the benefit of the doubt because boy, oh boy, she did not start off with a great first impression. But before we press onward, this chapter has been moving at like such a brisk pace that I want to ruin it. No, we, we just, we've never done any of these and they're piling up. Dezuhiko, I don't think you're everyone's favorite character, but I still wanna hear what you have to say. What does it say about me though, that my favorite of the master detectives is Vivia, who we barely know anything about? I guess I just like how he sounds. He's really cool and mysterious. Huh, well, how you been? It's uh, it's been raining a lot lately. Uh, so did I do something? Such an over exaggerated sigh. <laughs> What's wrong? Hey, he called him out on his bullcrap. Dude, that's really loud. You good? Hmm. You still want Quumpy? Jeez. Why did you have to be a dude? Huh? Huh? That was unexpected. Is he still upset about the Yuma? No, because you can do this in any order. You gotta admit, though, he, you know, he pulled it off. I'm sorry, but. I had such high hopes, you know. When the chief said he was bringing one more in, I was hoping for a bright young cutie. Yo how young? What? And as she saw my incredible heroic feats, little by little, we'd fall in love. Hey, didn't we fall in love according to you in that chapter? Like It'd blossom into a secret inter-office romance. Whoa! Oh, nice and sexy. No, no, that is... That's not responsible. Does... Like, that would stop him. <laughs> I mean, there's Fubuki, why don't you try talking to her? But instead, the chief brought in some dirty kid with amnesia. Dirty? All my high hopes were for nothing. Oh, well, darn, what will you do? I guess you'll just have to date someone from outside the office. Ah, uh, perish the thought. <laughs> You're pretty much a little kid yourself. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're, I guess they're like 18 or something. Desuhiko. You have no one to blame but yourself for that. Call him out! Let's go! What? As a dude, anyone would have some hope. Well, he's got me there. If... Hmm. Well, no, because it's during work. And it's like, you have to get along during work. It's not genuine, you know? So, no. I don't think that works in real life. That's how dudes are. What? It's as common as not washing your hands after using the bathroom. I literally cannot. I can't even record a video without clean hands. 
and socks on. Like it's just it's just my thing. Like But I wash my hands. Ugh. I hate this. You toyed with my innocent heart. By not being a girl? Piss off, dork! Huh? Wait, you're seriously sulking about this? Dude, there's a whole city of girls you can talk to. You what? you can just do that! Why would I not be serious about this? Dead serious in my sulking. He's such a little baby. You must so much more mature, dude. This is a bit much. I thought he was half joking. I didn't think he was completely serious. Uh, Desert Hiko does not do things in halves, I'm afraid. He'll be a pain in the ass if he keeps on like this. Maybe you should do something to cheer him up. Uh. But what should I do? Give him some, like rubbing alcohol so he can wash his hands like maybe he's afraid of water uh but i cook something for you i don't think workplace relationships are a good idea that's why i want to pick because dude imagine you break up and then you just gotta keep on working that that seems like a bummer i'll just get a new job johnny <laughs> are you serious like i don't think anybody's saying that how about me is he gonna do a little pose i don't know i don't, I don't like any of these Ugh. No, I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick to my guns. They're like, no, dude, you know, grow up. I don't think it's a good idea to get into a relationship with someone from work to begin with. Think about it. You don't wanna What's the saying? Eat where you poop? That doesn't sound right. I mean, no, you uh, You know what I mean though. It, I was, uh... What? Come on. Get off your high horse already. <sighs> well, dating in the workplace is one thing. But I also think you're not fit to be in any relationship. Oh, dang! What? <laughs> no one knows how girls think better than me. He may have a small point there, but... Do you know how much I think about girls every no, single no, day? No, no, no! What? I mean, he pretends to be one sometimes, like, you know. That's not what I meant. Desuhiko, I don't know if a ladies man like yourself could remain in a relationship with just one girl. I'm done. That's not... Yuma, you effing, you gotta... What is this? What is it? What are you doing? Are you brown nosing him right now? He needs... He needs... <sighs> so I figured you should refrain from that stuff, you know? Huh? <laughs> they even who gets like, ah, well, this is getting weird. Considering how attractive you are, I'm sure you're better off having lots of fans. Shut up, Yuma. He also should not be, have any fans. I For the think record, it fits you way better anyway. Hmm. Uh, this uh, mental gymnastics game is something I like. Okay. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Did it work? Yeah. Uh, I see. Now that you mention it. Maybe you're right. I'm not that kind of guy, but I totally get that you'd see me that way. <laughs> you know what? You're a good kid. Kick rocks. Hey, let me know if the others pick on you. I'll come to your rescue. Wow, what a saint. Uh, sure, thanks. I don't think that'll be an issue, though. They're all very respectable and kind. Well, Halar is neutral, I guess, but. <sighs> I guess we sorted that out. <laughs> But I wonder if I can really get along with him. I feel like I'm at my wit's end, personally. <laughs> Master, you and Desahiko seem to have grown closer. Let's not get any closer. I... At the same time, though... Man, you gotta hand it to the writer. D like, the this cast is... They're kind of golden, bro. Like, I, they're so unique. They're so different. Really squishing the number of, you know, potential people in the story, I think was to the game's benefit. Cause they're all so iconic. I love them all. Desert Hiko's just at the bottom of that Yuma, totem pole. Yuma oh, hey. Thanks for waiting. Yeah, we, we waited a whole episode. Where, where you been? <laughs> Kurumi, I'm glad you're okay. Oh, we just, just got here ourselves. He's so happy dude to see her. How was your investigation at the hideout? Did everything go okay? Oh my gosh, I almost forgot, yeah. Yeah, it went great. Looks like you took care of the bombs on your end. By the way, you don't need to hold hands anymore. Absolutely. That's, that's, it's a one-time thing. I mean, I really hope I can keep that promise and we don't, you know, plunge into mortal danger, but. I, I told you, it's a, it's. 
for the investigation. She'll never believe us. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. I... Teasing my master is worthy of a vicious boom kill. <laughs> Look at that stance. Holy <laughs> so did you find anything out? The okay, peacekeepers we'll were scouring the hideout, but no one was inside the building itself. It was easy to sneak in, but I didn't find any documents or evidence. Nothing at all? Dump. Maybe all the important stuff is inside that safe. Oh, right, the safe. Oh, the one that looks really sturdy? I was unable to open it, but I couldn't come back empty-handed. What did you do? So, I copied the security camera footage. What? Karumi! It's the video from the emergency stairs. I saw you in the footage, so I grabbed it just in case. What a actual... Gangster? No. What, what am I trying to say? I, I, Karumi, your tribe, okay? That is that is insanely helpful. That's great, Karumi. I wanted to check that footage anyway. No problem. Informants are all about give and take. So what do I have to give? You know what I mean? Then how about oh. I take your life? I would never forgive you. Let's check the video right now. Don't even joke. I'll borrow a device from the front desk. Okay, sure. Little portable DVD player. There he is. Ma, isn't he dashing? The only person in the video is Yuma. <laughs> so logic would dictate that Yuma's the true culprit. I went to the roof following Shachi. The peacekeepers were blocking the indoor stairs, so I used the emergency stairs on the outside. But halfway up, I heard a gunshot, so I ran up the stairs. That's when I saw Shachi's body. I fast-forwarded to the relevant footage, but it doesn't seem like anyone else used the emergency stairs. So we can roll that out. That's the thing I've just been racking my brain about. How could anyone exit that building? I... Oh, it doesn't make any sense. There was one gunshot, and only Shachi was on the roof. He was even holding the murder weapon. Perhaps it is best to consider it a suicide. No, Fubuki, it can't be that. I'm pretty... I don't know. I mean, that'd be really weird. So you think Shachi was chased by the peacekeepers, thought the revolution had failed, and took his own life? I disagree. I mean, I thought that in the beginning, but something seems off. Yo, truthfully, I was like, oh, that's it. Like, but it's just never that simple. Off? Oh, how so? To start, was Shachi really being chased by the peacekeepers? What do you mean? If he was fleeing them, he could have taken the emergency stairs. Oh my god. The peacekeepers weren't near the emergency stairs. Yeah. Oh. So it was a safe way out. Dude, I completely forgot the layout of the building. Maybe he heard your footsteps coming up and mistook you for them. But didn't they... Well, that could also be true. Even so, killing himself before confirming it was a peacekeeper seems too rash. Yeah, and he... You know, he's not a veteran per se, but he seems rather seasoned. I don't feel like this is his first encounter with peacekeepers. You know, like from my understanding, they come there all the time. Or like, it, it wouldn't be too rare. Besides, I only started up the stairs shortly after Shachi ran to the rooftop. There was still time to flee before he heard my footsteps. I see. I see. <laughs> Fubuki, are you just coughing what Karumi said? <laughs> so there had to be another reason he stayed on the roof. But what could it be? My current hypothesis is to meet up with someone. And the person they were meeting up with betrayed Chaichi. Hmm, that's the problem, yeah. Hmm. That's exactly what she's doing. <laughs> One of them is just pretending to think. Oh my god. Yeah, there's a lot of moving parts here, Shinigami, I guess. Oh, right. This is a bit off topic, but I got some information about the flood in Marnamon District. There was a wireless bug inside the Resistance hideout, and I heard the peacekeepers talking on it. The flooding was due to the Ombre Electric Power Plant. Ombre Electric Power Plant? Hane Ward's hydroelectric power plant that harnesses falling rain. No they way. say it's a clean, green energy source. Do you think that one guy... No, I mean, that's a side quest, but didn't that dude work for them or something? No, I think I missed my rumor, but anyway. It gathers rainwater throughout the city and drains it to the power plant. And the power plant was also... Yep. Made by Amaterasu. 
Who could have guessed an Amaterasu power plant would be a problem right now? That's really a clue. Oh. Um. Why did that even happen, though? I guess that's, yeah, why it would need to be a clue. Oh my god, there's so much going on. Mysterious suicide, bomb threat, and flooding. If it's all just coincidence, then this place is cursed. It's definitely cursed, but it doesn't mean this is all coincidence. Well, to be fair, you're the one who's cursed, Master. Uh, I don't think it's a coincidence. There must be some kind of connection. An Amaterasu power plant. I want to investigate it, but it probably isn't safe. Yeah, there's probably tons of peacekeepers there at the moment, too. But it could be related, right? Then we have to go. I... Uh... Yes, let's. An exciting no. adventure awaits us. Fubuki, please, you have to... I mean, trying to tell her of the dangers is just like, No, Fubuki, you can't go, but I can just turn back time. Like, it's not a big deal. Like... That's right, Fubuki. Finding the truth itself is an adventure. Oh, she's actually being nice to Fubuki instead of being a jerk. Wow. Yuma, if you hesitate, the truth will get away from you. Well, hold up. She's kind of spitting. Then again, I'm just repeating what my grandpa said. Oh, okay. It's getting really hard to say no now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> Girls bat their eyes and Master is suddenly helpless. Frig, dude. Can't even object. That's not it. Despite the danger, we have to go. We can't let the peacekeepers pursue us forever. All right, let's go to the power plant. Yes, let us all join together and solve this case. Yep, let's go. Time to head to Marnamon District. Let's not do anything reckless. I feel like something incredibly bad is going to happen. Like right after now. Whoa, what is it? Why is this a cutscene? Shouldn't, shouldn't the game just teleport us there? <laughs> what? I found you, you vile criminal. Huh? Oh my god, okay. Hands on the controller, Jimbo. I know. It's a tall, tall thing to ask of a Let's Player to actually hold the controller for the video game he's playing. <sighs> Ooh, I did not have a lot of time for that one. Not in 100 years. Hey, what? Well, they're going after Kurumi now. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that. Oh. Uh, you did not even think that through. What was he going to do if he collided with her? Freaking Peacekeeper. <laughs> He did not even think that one through. Whatever. Later, suckers. Hey, I, did, I did it right on the first try. Let's effing go. Oh, let's not get cocky, though. It's like it's like my own personal pride. I can't goof up these QTEs. It's like the straight up easiest thing to... Oh, no! <sighs> Thanks again, Fubuki. Like I, I, like, I watch I watch tons of... I don't know why I do this, but I watch Shenmue. A lot on the internet. I just really like that game. Don't like playing it. And I'm like, how can you mess up these QTs? And I've been doing the same thing. Oh yeah, these guys are. Wait, no. Like, actually, how do we get out of this? The car? No. Look, bro. What is this game? Right. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, we got that one. Oh, thank God. It's the one you hit the most. No, they definitely make these harder. Such a jerk move, but what, what, whatever. Anyway, like it's the right kind of thing to get mad about. Oh my god, this is destroyed. Cause like I want to see the mystery play out. It's, what happened? Keep slowing us down. This no. isn't just a flood. It's all underwater. Well, I mean, if it collects for the whole city, it's totally believable. Are we gonna take a little boat around? What? It looks like the slums we left. What was that place called? Doya District. Yeah, I was about to make fun of her, but I also forgot the name. I know. I have made the same mistake in the past, but... What? Did everyone in the city leave their water running? Fubuki, <laughs> 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 you're so funny. Agreed! I think she was serious. But it's so silly, though. From what I can tell, there oh my are God, my head hurts. around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure they prioritize eliminating the resistance over rescuing citizens. Oh my God, you're right. And now's our chance to see the power plant, if you want. Yeah, I guess I was totally wrong. I mean, yeah, the, what peacekeeper would hang out here with their little, you know, floaties, right? The power plant is up ahead, right? How do we get there? Hey, I see a boat over there. <laughs> Good job, Fubuki. Maybe someone used it to evacuate. Let's borrow it. All right, sounds I've like a plan. I've never been on a boat before. So excited! 
Really? Is a boat really that interesting, given you can float? Uh, she it's really likes boats. Mood. You just don't understand the way to attack God's heart, Master. Oh, is it because of Charon? You know, ferrying people to the dead? Maybe that's... Uh, I might be reaching, but... It's nice to know at least Shinigami has her hobbies. She's like, ooh, nice boat. You hurry. Flips out. Really? Time Why? For the tutorial. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Wait, what? The boat can go forward and left. It'll stop if it hits any debris. Gotcha. Wait, this controls like garbage. It's like an actual boat. No! Why would you do this to me? What? That is amazing! Yuma, you know how to pilot a boat? Do I? I'm surprised too. You're amazing, Yuma. Oh my gosh, I'd be blushing. Oh, it's really it's actually insanely hard and I'm barely getting by, but thank you. Silly Shinigami, Wales is a country. It's not the ocean, so I doubt it. Yuma, watch out! You'll crash! The, the safe? What are the chances? Are you serious? That's that's the safe! What? What was that? It looks like a big safe. There's a bunch of other stuff drifting by, like desks and chairs. Oh my god. I'm sure it flowed out from the flooded buildings. Now I am embarrassed to sound so naive, but a safe is a box where you store valuables, right? Yes, that is correct. If so, is it safe for something so precious to be floating around here? Not for the owners, but what are the chances that's the safe we're looking for? It should be fine. Airtight safes float because of the air inside. Oh, really? If nothing else, informants sure know their trivia. Right. It'd be terrible if we crashed into it. Be careful, Yuma. Will that's do. safe. I think I saw it somewhere. But without the proper code, we can't open it. So the I guess it is. The security function makes it the best safe there is. Did we, did we like peek and see the combination? Nowadays, even the bank and other important facilities use it in the commercial area of Marunamon District. It's made by trusty old Amaterasu Corp, <laughs> after all. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> like, our mortal enemies, I love them. It's I mean, the same as the one at the hideout. It's supposed to be widely used in Marnomon district. Yeah, there's really no... There's no point checking it out if it's, you know, a st standard issue. Something about this bothers me. It, that wasn't even the same color. This one's, like, purple. And that one's, yeah, definitely, like, dark. It's sturdy safe using the informant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no reason to, like, pick it or anything. We better avoid bumping into the stuff drifting by. I guess it was just there to give us the key... Ooh, ooh, do you see that? I, I see know. it. We have no idea if this boat is sturdy or not. Yeah, and that would really suck. But uh, I hope I'm not running into the debris. I just want to pick this up. Let's go, Vivian number four. Oh, let's go. Oh, I'm so happy. Man, this reminds me of rafting, though. Crap is so fun. That must be the power plant. But then a Gila monster comes up and bites you on your gonads, and it's just like, ah, you know. Florida's not all it's cracked up to be. I'll just say that. Wait, isn't a gonad? Whatever. Where are we? Where's this taking us? There doesn't appear to be anyone here. Maybe all the workers evacuated. There wasn't a blackout, so the building should still be functioning. This place is working hard, even while flooded. <laughs> I should follow its example and keep working hard, too. <laughs> hey, I think we can go in through there. We're actually going to investigate a flooded building. I'm not gonna make, I'm not trying to sound like creepy, but that is like one of my top 10 fantasies. And I don't know why. I don't know why that is the case, but, dude, it's like a water level in real life. Check the. Oh. Wait! Don't go alone. It's dangerous. Is it? It's all right. No one's here. Let's hurry and check this place out. Maybe we're being too naive. She is a rather good informant. She deserves respect for putting her life on the line for the sake of intel. Yeah, but. <laughs> I don't want her to die. I doubt I could be so bold. Ugh, Jesus. I mean, she she's capable. I mean, she learned from her grandpa, right? Like, for all we know, she has, like, Neo Aikido. Looks right? Looks like a regular office. Maybe they do administrative stuff here. Well, there's some tea half gone on the table. People must have left in a hurry. Let's check out this room. We might find out what happened here. Hmm. You hmm. can do it, master! What am I supposed to be doing? I mean, I know this is a building for the power plant, but like, how <laughs> are you having fun? Jesus. <laughs> I guess I am, but 
I'm glad I wasn't flooded. I hope we can find some info. Master. Whoa! What? Is that Shinigami awakened? What the? Get investigating. Don't lose to that flatty. I'll I just, help you out. I, Attention. What's wrong with being flat? Like, it's fine. Like, whatever. Okay, so we can't. It won't open. Yeah. It's stuck from the other side. Maybe water is pressing against the door. The water pressure could be keeping it closed. Oh, geez. Yeah, let's not mess with it then. Oh, right. <sighs> Looks like no one is really here. It must be serious if even the security's gone. Well, look around. What could they even do? Right. Oh, no. They stole some umbrellas. Oh, yeah. Our entire building is flooded. What's, like, the bigger crisis here? Okay. Wow. That's even a... That's probably red herring. It has nothing to do with the case at hand. Or does it? I'm just going to come clean and say this, though. Like, the fact that there is a flood, it's... Like, it really is not looking good for the boys. The TV show. No, I'm, I'm just saying both of their... His talent revolves around water, and his past trauma also revolves around water and this region of town. So, you know, and I'm not I'm not just I'm not just sucking up to Aruka, okay? It's just you know what what does she have to do with it? A gun? That's about it. Yuma, I believe this is about the power plant, right? Clean energy by Amaterasu. This advanced generator efficiently generates electricity with rainwater. Oh, dump. You know this is going to be important. I'm going to make sure to study this chart thoroughly because this is going to come into play. Oh, dump. Don't tell me the the freaking elf dude swam through this gener- I mean, that's just stupid. He would die instantly. But a tap water reservoir is used to generate electricity. The turbines are powered by only natural water flow. It works like a water wheel, making it completely safe. Safe to go in there? doubt it. Drainage is controlled as needed through generating power, so there's no risk of blackouts. No risk of blackouts, huh? As far as I can tell, this appears like an ideal facility. And this area is at a lower elevation in Kanai Ward, so rainwater tends to pull up here. And that's probably why it was the first place to flood. Okay. Sounds... sounds ideal. Time for a little break. What? <laughs> I just got stuck. I think I finally realized why I'm so frustrated with Shinigami. In these games, most characters are just so straight up and open, like, here's all my trauma, here's my special talent, here's what I'm thinking right now. And Shinigami just don't tell us nothing. And we're just we're just forced to brunt like the full force of her obnoxiousness. Because like she said herself, she doesn't even remember like two days ago. And that frustrates me. However, that might be on me. Now that I say that out loud, though, it just does sort of feel like I have gaslit myself into liking this character. She likes Yuma? Oh. It doesn't list any hobbies, though. But yeah, she's just such a mystery. I guess that's kind of the point. All right, back to business. I'm just saying. Take a look at this document. I'm really trying, but you, she's not. Emergency stopped. notice to all power plant employees? According to this, two accidents occurred near the power plant. Okay. Two accidents? Yeah. In the first one, the drainage channel that brings in rainwater to Marunamon District collapsed. It seems like there was a separate explosion at the drainage channel exactly when the phone booth blew up. Another explosion near the water drainage channel? Is that why water overflowed into Marunamon District? But hold on, why would they get this document? You know what I mean? Like, someone have to print it and you have to get delivered to this person's death. Was this an inside job? Like, what the dump? Mm, if it was just an accident, there'd still be plenty of drainage capacity. The city flooded because another accident pushed it over the edge. What accident? There's a reservoir upstream from the power plant. That's where they adjust the water used for generating power. But the valve that adjusts the water flow is malfunctioning right now. No, I don't think it's an inside job. I think it was just two bad coincidences back to back. Ah. Malfunctioning? The valve's locked open, causing water to keep flowing. I see. So they couldn't drain it quick enough, and it overflowed into Marnomon District. I highly doubt this all happened by accident. Mm. But what... Think about it from Amaterasu's perspective, right? Would they really do all this to cover the tracks for their assassin, their informant, their mole? Like, this is a lot of property damage. 
Oh, but to pin it on the WDO and the resistance force, right? Guess that's it. That, I mean, that's what an inside job is for, right? Yeah, there's no doubt this was intentional. But why? Cover the tracks for maybe someone who's a really good swimmer? I don't know. I don't know. I think that's about it. What? I checked what I can here. Okay. I double checked to make sure there was no, like, you know, little secret hidey thingies. But yeah, this was fun, and I can't put my finger on why. It's just, it's just, you know, we never that experienced this in real life. I can investigate here. I think I understand the gist of this power plant. Good, because I have and don't. Uh, oh no! You are right, right? That's where this is going. We're actually cornered. It's here. This is when we go to the labyrinth. You didn't specify. <laughs> what do we do? Definitely don't get patted by that guy. I'm pretty sure that would suck. We can escape through that door. No, you can't. No, Cody won't open. Master, calm down. Right now, we have to stay calm. Do we have enough keys? I don't think so. Dog. Oh my God. Dominant punch. Yeah, no kidding. The terrorist really is here. They sold out one of their own. <laughs> That's so funny. What are you talking about? You terrorist clown. Look, Dominic's laughing his butt off. What? What is this comedy troupe they got going on here? I, I'm not vibing with it. It's just, <sighs> it's just stupid. <laughs> sold out. I guess I just left. We got an anonymous tip. You were here. A certain friend was worried about your future. Hmm. What's going on? Someone from the Resistance reported us? I'm not sure what's happening here. I don't even know why they bring this up. This is so weird. Like... Yuma. Huh? Please do it, Fubuki. I said this is the last no, time, no. but... Don't try moving without permission. How far back can she go, though? What's her name? Was talking for a good minute. Oh my god, she's straining herself too much. This sucks. She's still going? No. She's gonna be fried. What? Oh my god. It looks like a regular office. A whole. Maybe they do administrative stuff. A whole here. ten minutes back in time. Holy dumb. Some tea half gone on the table. People must have left in a hurry. Wait, when did you two start holding hands? What are you doing? <sighs> This is as far as I can turn back time. Hey, you did more than enough, but we gotta we gotta go scram now. Fubuki, what's the matter? Did something happen? I'll explain later, Kurumi. Yeah, yeah, yes, please. We're on our way. Thank God. We need to get out of here. Whole chapter. Whoa, 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 oh, come whoa, whoa. on! It wasn't enough time. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, were they just sitting there the whole time where we're investigating? Just out of view. That's kind of effing hilarious. Why are you out here? But uh, uh, crap. Damn, we're already surrounded. What we language? Have to turn back time again. Yeah, I cannot. Once I have turned back time, I cannot turn it back any further. Crud. Oh no. We're at. Ugh, it's mystery labyrinth time, but that's not gonna help anybody. Trial, not even a mock trial. God. Squish them into cans and ship them off to Director <laughs> Yomi. Okay? Okay. <sighs> Sorry. If I was just a bit stronger. No, I don't think anything. Like we're just, we're just screwed. Whoever ratted us out, this is why they found us. What do we do, Yuma? Uh, we can't get captured here. Bomb threat, flooding, and Shachi's death. 
I have to solve those mysteries. That's where yours truly okay. comes in. Thank God. Right. Shinigami, please help me. But this oh, time I... Fine. After all, I have to help when asked. Unless Miss Hall was the one that the killed... I... The mysterious death of that Shachi guy. And we now have enough clues for that. I'm like 50-50 on if we do or not. Here but... goes, Master. I guess so. I don't know. I've seen this animation so many times, I just don't even give a crap anymore. <laughs> oh my god, we get it, you're hot. Thanks. She's she's doing the hall thing. I hate to whistle. <laughs> and why is Wiki? Oh my. We weren't even holding hands this time. Because like Kurumi didn't get sucked in and she was just as close to Yuma. Is it because we held hands and like that's why? Oh. Time has stopped. Has the game already what? She sounds You're different. Surprised? Well, this is not out of the ordinary for members of the Clockford family. But who did this? Hmm, I wonder who. She did? Oh. Oh, God. It's probably best Karumi. Nice to meet you. Didn't get sucked Apologies up. Apologies for the delayed introduction. Into all this. Thank you for the proper introduction. Pleased to meet you. Oh, they're so nice to each other. You, you better not. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. I swear to God. I mean, she's fine, right? Terrible, Yuma. It appears we are both falling. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Yes, I know. Down the rabbit hole we go. Yeah, mystery labyrinths are cool and all, but. One time I watched a live stream of somebody, and they had an Amazon wish list, and it was titled Support the Creator, right? And it was just full of nothing but cinder blocks. That costs like $1,500. Why did they do that? Did, like, I can't stop thinking about it. Anyway, oh, here we are. This happens every time. There's gotta be a better way. Yuma. It appears we are witnesses to a historical moment. No, it's not a spaceship, Fabuki. No. <laughs> I never would have imagined discovering an advanced civilization underneath Kanai Ward. Well, I'm... You know what? You're right. It is. There must be treasures sought by adventurers deep inside. <laughs> well, our lucky day, huh? Oh, if I had known this was here, I would have brought along a whip and hat. Um, Fubuki? We're not underneath Kanai Ward. Also, we're in mortal danger, so please listen as carefully as possible. Okay, they did it one more time. And she's just, ah, oh, look at it. Oh my gosh, I love adventuring. And that's what happened. Really? That's it. What? Huh? This is exactly the adventure I have been seeking. Oh no. Oh no. Hidden treasure inside a labyrinth. Traps blocking our way. Well. Dangerous monsters. She's not wrong about any of that. This labyrinth is the adventure I was born to take on. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. Well, at least she's enthusiastic. Unlike Dezuhiko, who hardly remember. Well, Fubuki is also going to have that issue. But hers is like a symptom of her amazing power. Dezuhiko's just being kind of dumb. So. Does she really not get it? Well, that figures. So you. Must be the god of darkness possessing you. Ah, uh, 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 well, it's all out in the open. You got it all wrong. I'm not the god of darkness. I'm the god of death. Same crap. Uh, she's like our guide for the mystery labyrinth. Right. If you defy me, I'll abandon you in here. I see. You're the guide to hell that dwells in the labyrinth. So you are the god of darkness. Then you are plotting to interfere with us. I will not yield to you. Uh, good luck, Fubuki. She doesn't get it at all. I mean, this is it is true that she's a pain, but this is the one time she's very, very helpful. It's like she's not listening. This is why I hate naive sheltered skanks. Don't say that right to her face. Naive. Sheltered? <laughs> Calling me a skank is one thing, but sheltered? <laughs> Yuma, I swear I shall conquer this labyrinth. <laughs> I mean, sheltered. I don't even have a home anymore. The restaurant and the submarine blew up. I cannot abide this vulgar gut of Whoa. darkness. Calling me naive and sheltered. Aye, then. Let's get to it. Um, Fubuki, please calm 
Calm down. No, this is good. She's fired up. Anyway, Master, let's do it again. Oh my god, I don't want to. It's so embarrassing. We've got to put on a fiercer display than ever before for this sheltered skank. Fiercer than usual? Uh, don't make it even weirder. Fubuki, just a heads up. Please don't take anything you're about to see in a weird way. Dude, he's just like, he's coming to full. Yeah, it's effing weird. I don't, I just, I don't like it. Oh my god. What the? What is that face? Are you ready to get What's the big deal? For the truth? It's like she's seeing a murder. Oh my god. I am. Hey, yo, these jams. Let's go. Do your little thing. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. How many times am I going to do this bit? I don't know. As <laughs> many times as you got her, because they rendered it six times, and you got to play that game, bro. The God of Darkness was concealing a weapon all along. I know. How many dastardly tricks does this... Is it okay to call someone a wench? No, I don't think so. How many evil tricks does this wench have? And yet, Yuma, you have disarmed the God of Darkness and stolen her weapon. Yeah, that's definitely ha what happened. I Master, we don't have time to deal with this. Just chop her up with a solution blade. Okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> when someone disagrees with the God of Darkness, they vomit profusely. Yeah. Noted. I spat out the solution keys for you. So happy. Y you were smuggling that many keys on you? You must be a serial burglar. <laughs> Than I first imagined. Every single joke is killing me from Fubuki. Seriously, you're such a dumb, sheltered skank. How do you hope to clear the mystery labyrinth like this? Okay, but how can you be sheltered and a, you know, get around a lot? You know what I mean? Like, how does that even happen? Mm, you called me sheltered again. I'm just not even gonna acknowledge what, what joke they're doing here. Like, there, there, calm down. I refuse. I do not like conflict, but I will not stand idly by while being insulted. What are you going to do? Slap her with a glove or something? What's happening? For the honor of the Clockford family name, I must fight. No, you should not fight. Sheesh. Give me a break. What a handful. Now, let's unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Our target is the true culprit who preys on the truth. Okay, so we're not, we're not having a cat fight. Thank God. I will not lose to the god of darkness. I will conquer this labyrinth sealed in shadow and find a hidden treasure deep within. Something about this character talking about hidden treasure it feels feels a little nostalgic. This doesn't look very promising. It's way better than... I mean, her abilities aren't going to be very helpful here, but I think that's fine. Dezuhiko's also were not helpful at all. At least she's gung-ho about it, you know what I mean? What? Numbers. Excuse me? It looks like a countdown. What is going on? I told you a million times. The mystery labyrinth is the materialized form of the case from the real world. And so, since there was a time to explode, what? Maybe this is a recreation of the countdown timer that caused you such a headache. Well, it's three hours. It's not that bad. You mean the bomb? Then if the timer reaches zero, it'll go kaboom! You and the whole mystery labyrinth will be blown to smithereens! <laughs> Why are you clapping, you idiot? You'll die too! What's funny about that? Did you set up the bomb in this labyrinth? I see. A dirty trick. Befitting the god of darkness. You're not just smuggling keys, but also large explosive devices. How do you have so much room for that? <laughs> Yuma, we must hurry. If we take too much time, the labyrinth will collapse along with the treasure inside. Hey, you're speaking about treasure. Whoa, hold up. Let us make all haste uh. to obtain the treasure and escape via waterfall out of the destroyed dungeon. What? Wait, it's not safe. Oh, yeah, she's going to get attacked by Qs. Dump, 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 dump. Jeez. It's too she's dangerous for Fubuki to get She's around. actually just straight up gone. No. Come on. Although, maybe not. She could use her ability in an emergency. Does do they actually work inside the labyrinth? Well, Hilaris did, so. Oh, I should let you know. Forties can't be used in here. Apparently, they don't, and I just misremembered. Huh? Really? That sheltered skink is just tagging along inside the mystery labyrinth. She won't be able to use her abilities. Oh, now I'm worried. Let's hurry after her. Wait, am I tripping? I could have sworn we used Hilaris. I guess, like in one of the mini games. I guess we didn't. 
mean, that's fine, though. It's Yuma's time to shine, after all. Whoa. Wait, this one actually looks cool. Wait, what? what is that in the distance? I've never seen... That's Fubuki's hood, right? Oh, yeah. She's being uh, swarmed by... I almost said fanboys, but no. These are... They're just, like, questions. Fubuki? Oh, Yuma, take a look at this. Uh -uh. These cute creatures and I have become the best of friends. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun, but I'm terrified, personally. These are cues. It's a materialized mystery. It, ah, no. She's already buried beneath them. What was up with that scream? Oh, another round oddity over here? All right, come on now, Domino. Is that an apron? I... A what? Yeah, I'm shocked too. A phantom. The Found you. Ugh. You're a terrorist, bomber, murderer, and. Did just necklace say poop? Look at that. No, P O. It says P on. Okay, never mind. I was close. A maggot who doesn't deserve to live. You murdered Shachi from the resistance, didn't you? Killing your own people makes you dumber than Dominic. Ooh. I didn't do it. When I got to the roof, Shachi was already dead. I can't hear you. Sorry, I don't listen to criminals. How horrifying. So these are the Labyrinth monsters? Yeah, they're honestly the ugliest so far. You summon such dangerous creatures to block our path? Think what you want, but you can't move forward until you boom kill these things. It should be easy enough. Let us do it, Yuma. Yeah. Hey, Dominic, you're good at doing laundry, right? With no hands? Grab a washboard and give their filthy hearts a good scrub. Imagine being him and having to listen to one that voice all day, but also like th that's your su that's your superior. Like I get you're supposed to hate the peacekeepers, but truly, how how did Miss Hall climb the ranks, Johnny? Because she's just so ruthless. She even steals eyeballs from her. I, I just, I'm just not buying. It. All the peacekeepers effing suck turds. Like Martina, I could get behind because it's like, yeah, she's she's crazy, and, you know. I guess Just pretty. But, you know. Wait, what are we doing again? Oh, okay. Uh, Frick! Okay, we're starting up great. All right, so this is all right. Well, we need to check out Shachi's actions. Shachi had to run away, but he stayed on the roof. And Shachi's gun. Did, was there ever a chance to confirm if Shachi was left-handed? Did he do anything? I mean, I wasn't really paying attention or looking for that. Then we also have the security camera. Okay. Planted the gun on his corpse. Well, I can't bring up the and the hand no thing. Yet. Up there. No witnesses. Hmm. You this could be the camera. This one's a little trickier. Go die and be reborn already, okay? <laughs> that was nice of her to say. Okay. We're already stumped. The only one on the rooftop was you, Master. Which means you're the only person who could have killed Shachi. But I didn't do it. Shachi had already been killed by the time I got to the roof. Then let's prove your innocence. I know you can do it, Master. Oh, shucks. This is up there. No witnesses. We try this, but no. Crap. Maybe you do this. Do this one. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because we couldn't have done it. You, you get it, right? <laughs> Truth be told, I was just kind of guessing. But. No, I'm not the one who shot him. I was still on the stairs when the gunshot went off. Right. How could I forget? The security footage proves it. Oh, gosh. I was like, you got some bad Chipotle, Miss Hall. <laughs> he did too. <laughs> but he doesn't mind it as much. And there we go. It's just that easy. It's just that. Okay, that one. Yeah, the difficulty's getting harder. The monsters retreated. Yeah, but they'll be back. Yuma, you defeated those monsters. Splendid. I respect you as a fellow adventurer. You didn't respect me before? Dang, okay. As a sign of my respect. May I call you the Warrior of Light? Ah, uh, that title has a a dubious uh, meaning nowadays. You could call me Lodo, though. That that's something we have, you know, copyright on. Uh, Warrior 
Order of Light? <laughs> sure, whatever you say. <laughs> Let's keep going. She was like, yeah, whatever makes you happy. Let's just skedaddle. Now we get it. He's he's innocent. Whoa, that's choppy. Because they're idiots? Oh, yeah. Fubuki, you don't remember the case. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that part. There was a murder, and I'm a suspect. Oh, the clocks are here. I see. <laughs> There's no way the Warrior of Light can be a murderer. Ah! I was seen under incriminating circumstances. Oh, this part's flooded. Not this only was I a suspected terrorist, but I was also spotted next to a corpse on the roof of a building. Was there no one else on the roof? That's what we can't figure out. No one. There was nowhere to hide up there, and no other exits. That we know of. Let's just mm, keep that in mind. Well, that does sound awfully suspicious, Yuma. Things would go much easier if you just confessed. So much for you believing in me. I told you I didn't do it. Well, oh my god, wishy-washy. Bro. Oh no, what now? It's Unreal Engine 4 water. Oh crap, what are we gonna do? Oh, what's happening? I understand now. This place is going to sink very soon. I know that. I can float, so it's not a problem for me. But you two better figure something out quick. <laughs> Thanks for the suggestion. That definitely doesn't even help. Like, I know that too. We just need to solve the mystery, right? I. Wh what has happened? <laughs> okay. What? Is it just taking us to the? Oh, it's one of these things. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. I don't like. Th oh my god. <laughs> she's gonna. Whoa, she's gonna puke. Okay, what murder weapon was used for the uh, use in the case? Shaichi's gun. This way. Maybe. I think yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay. Just calm down. That was quite the surprise. Oh thank God. Yeah, don't don't do me like that. Okay, it's starting out a little easier. Let's go up there. Huh? You mean jump on it? Uh yeah, that is kind of you got like one good shot at that, and then you're swimming upstream, and that's real tough. It's all right. This should be fine. I don't think that's the part she's even concerned with. Yeah, just do like a, you know, one of those. Yeah. <laughs> it's so easy. Look. What's wrong? You need to jump over here. Can she not jump? Or is she she like afraid she'll miss? I am not very good at physical activity. Huh? I cannot do it. What? I like the confidence. Uh, any way you can give her some assistance, Shinigami? Seeing as you can float and all. Fubuki, you're an adventurer, aren't you? You should be able to jump this. Very well. What's with this? What's this? This creepy music. I shall reach out as far as possible. Oh no. Please catch me if I fail to make it. She's gonna f up. No, 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 no. Why else was this cutscene be here? I'm terrified. Oh, dumb! Oh, oh, oh my god. Catch her, please. Oh, thank god. Dude, yeah, we... That was close. She'd be stuck in here forever. It's too early to relax. Come on, keep going! Thank you, Yuma. Something is off. Like your strength is sapped or something? I attempted to rewind time, oh. but was unable to. Right, this might be the first time she's ever had to do, like, you know, like recently. About that, you can't use your abilities while inside the mystery labyrinth. Huh? Is this the work of the God of Darkness? Oh, hey, Doki. Her frightening power has sealed away my forte. It's just a debuff. You'll get it back if we succeed. <laughs> So you finally noticed. I wish you'd quit trying to make things worse. I know, she's like antagonizing. You didn't, she didn't do it on purpose. With your precious power oh. gone, you're nothing but a hindrance in this labyrinth. What? What is... Uh, I just... Now stay put and keep out of trouble. Whoa, whoa. Uh, hindrance? I mean, maybe her taunting will, you know, like be some positive reinforcement? Mm. About the murder weapon... The victim was killed by his own gun, right? Yeah, the muzzle of the gun at the crime scene was still hot. And I could smell gunpowder. So that confirms it. Out of the six bullets loaded it, in yeah. it, only one of them had an empty shell. So it's reasonably likely to believe that, yes, it was his gun. Because if you're really trying to make it look like a suicide, why complicate things, you know? 
which means the bullet that killed Shachi absolutely came from the gun he was holding. But how do you even pull that off? Did he have his gun with him? The only way this makes sense is if someone else was holding his gun for him. Oh my god. Iruka? It could be. Dog. You mean you need to be a good shot? Shoot, it might be through. It might. I don't know who to suspect anymore. I thought it was just the two dudes because, you know, they're effing dudes and they're not hot chicks, but like. Oh. Fubuki? You okay? I am. Hindrance. Shiniko, I swear to God, what is wrong with you? What? Still thinking about that? It just happened. You should have known that already. Wh I was actually trying to sympathize with Shinigami, but no, this is effed up. This is too effing far. You can't solve mysteries. You can't use your abilities. You can barely move. You've got no courage, no resolve. Is this is this negging? Is this is that what's going on here? So yeah, you're basically a hindrance. An obstacle. Now beat it before you drag Master down with you. <sighs> I'm just speechless. Fubuki, are you okay? Like, don't let, li don't listen to her and her stupid effing mouth. Like, come on, you're epic. I think you're epic, and you make me lol. So let's let's solve this together. I might need your help after all. I am fine. I can stand on my own. Oh my god, this is like a this. Is, what the Yuma. I am terribly sorry. From here on, I shall make an effort to not cause you any trouble. G Greg going Yaver complex. You don't have to worry about it. If anything stands in our way, we'll work together to overcome it. No. This is something I must do on my own. I must become strong enough to take on the world before I can return to the Clockford family. Oh my god, what? Hey, looks like she's getting motivated. Sometimes playing the bad guy gets results. <sighs> I don't agree with your parenting style, Shinigami. Uh. Playing? But you're <laughs> always like this. Or is this an act? Is that what you're gonna pull? You're just trying to be the bad cop and I'm the good cop? Yeah, right. Doesn't answer. I am curious. Are you really a detective in training, Yuma? Hey, what's up? What's up? You down me? What's up with that? You seem far more experienced with adventuring than I am. You even had the title of Warrior of Light. <laughs> I know. I, I almost forget how I acquired such a such a monumentous title. Wow, this one's really pretty, by the way. You gave me that title, Fubuki. Did you did did you forget? Are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Master is an expert at getting dragged into other people's business. He's been forced around the block a few times. He's got a great mentor too. Mm hmm. The very best. In contrast, I have nothing. Besides the ability to wind back time. Oh my god. With great power comes apparently great self-esteem issues. Holy dump. And my only merit is useless here. Oh my gosh. I Oh man. I'm looking at this from a totally you, you have to be here. Like I'm over you. So sad. You're not gonna make it through here. Uh, I just I never added my freaking little special bonuses for leveling up, dude. I goofed up. Can I do that now? Getting real annoying. It's starting to stress me out. Mm, pop me kettle, but like. Faster, help me unwind by turning them into mincemeat. I'd love to, cause they are genuinely hard to look at. Focus mode on. Chin down, eyes up. Like, I can't, I can't even see doing that, but it just looks so goofy on camera. Okay, reasoning death match. Will I need to be? You know, like, do you trial and error this? Oh, frick, there's four keys. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, Even just hear me out first. Okay, so yeah, there's you my company. Your from okay, so you're saying it's a snipe. Threw the gun to you. Designed by Aruka. There's a key. High voltage lines. There are high voltage lines between the two buildings, so travel between them is impossible. She's, she's not mentioning. You can still throw a gun through the lines, though. Hmm. Tricky. You planted it in Shachi's hand. Ooh, that's wow. She's actually got a point. That was your magic master plan. <laughs> Aren't you the one with wings? Where was the shot taken? Doesn't that make you more fly adjacent? Oh, the... There's one spot where the shot could have been made. The 
trajectory of the bullet. Right. Okay. Hold on. I think we. I don't think I need to hear it all out. No, you can't do that. That angle doesn't match up. You made it too easy for me. I can't even pronounce her first. I can't not see the word poop in that necklace. What is that? Is that like a Freudian thing? The neighboring building didn't have any windows, so the only way to shoot the victim was from the rooftop. But that building was taller than the hideout. If the victim was sniped from that height, the gunshot wound would have been at an angle. Also, genuinely, it's a pistol. Come on. I've never played PUBG, Miss Hall. Like, think about it. You can't kill nothing with them things. But the gunshot wound through his head was horizontal. Based on the gunshot wound, it's impossible for the bullet to have traveled from the roof of the neighboring building. Yeah, your thesis is lacking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like his sound effects, but I do not enjoy his character. He is... Leaves a bit to be desired. Uh, I think we can all agree that. Kind of reminds me of that one Yakuza character, though. Gary Buster Halls. Pretty sure that's his name. He's got like the spike arms, too. Oh, what now? Eh? I get it. Since the wound ran parallel to the roof, the shooter must have been at the same height. Well, it could be that the victim's head was at an angle at the time of impact. But in that case, we would have found the bullet lodged in the roof. Oh my god, that's a good point. The monster conjures falsehoods to impede our progress. Hey, you're keeping up pretty quick, Fubuki, okay? But it's strange that they insist it was a homicide. If I'm not the culprit, it'd make more sense to rule it as a suicide. That's because it is one. They're insisting it's a homicide to cover it up. Yeah, I mean, that that makes sense. <laughs> so you finally uh, revealed your true nature, God of Darkness. What? Where is this going? Huh? Oh my freaking God. Whoa. I guess she takes after Yuma in a lot of ways. That was effing loud. Yuma, do not be swayed by this deceiver. This case is most assuredly a homicide. I, she spin facts. Assuredly? And what are you basing that on? The victim carried a gun, did he not? Yeah. If so, he could have used it to combat the peacekeepers pursuing him. Oh. Oh my, wait, she, she's right. And yet, he hastily turned the gun on himself. No, no well, I... I do not believe the victim was so cornered that he would commit suicide. <sighs> that actually makes sense. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Even if he wanted to avoid using his gun, he could have at least used it to threaten them. Right, no shots fired. Dude, that means he didn't have his gun on him for some reason. So it must be a homicide. Someone might have taken it. Well, the mole could have taken it from the safe. They all understood how the safe worked. They knew the peacekeepers were coming so they could be preemptive about it. And there you have it. No, suicide. Oh, what? oh my God, what are we doing? Homicide. No. I would agree with Fubuki a hundred times over. I think Shinigami's just being petty. God, this is a really fun case, y'all. Oh, we just kind of wound up here. There are two doors? Two doors ain't that bad. We can get it. Look at all the slime, though, Fubuki. You like slime videos? Huh? Lord knows I do. I'm just kidding. I I'm being honest. I just watch mostly Let's Plays and Red Letter Media. <laughs> That's like it. The letters are written in blood yeah does yuma's blood contain holy powers and it illuminates <laughs> this cursed labyrinth well he does have red why does he have red blood is yuma the homunculus no way think about it oh my god no desuhiko also had the freaking nosebleed I think that's just an incon- like, when someone's not bleeding in this game from death, they use their red blood. Okay, that makes sense. Yuma, you are more than the warrior the of light. You are the holy warrior of light. No way, that's a mouthful. Wow. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> Let's focus on this problem. It's so humble. Is this a suicide or a homicide? We need to narrow it down, now. Dog, it could not be it any simpler. It is clearly a homicide. Yes. Am I? Am I? No. I'm not overthinking this, right? Am I underthinking it? Bruh. 
Let's see what the slime has to say. Yeah, what's up, man? It's me, slime. Says I'm slimy. <laughs> That's disgusting. Wow, I didn't realize the slimes were so perverted. Oh my god. The Drancoist ones seem like perfect gentlemen. But <laughs> wait till you get to know them, but that is just about it for today's episode of Master Detective Archive. Ranko, thank you all so much for the support. The Mystery Labyrinth, we're just getting started, and things are looking pretty simple so far. But boy, oh boy, I don't think they'll stay that way. Until next time, I appreciate you so much, and make sure to wash your hands after you flush. Bye bye <laughs>